27th of January 2015, National Holocaust Memorial Day. Two sixth form students from Formby High set up a Holocaust Memorial bench and planted a tree in honour of those who died during the Holocaust. Lucy and Callum were inspired to do this after they visited Auschwitz concentration camp as part of being ambassadors for the Holocaust Education Trust. I'm here with one of Formby High's Holocaust ambassadors, Lucy. How did it feel walking through Auschwitz? Um, it was very Obviously it was very emotional walking through Auschwitz, but for me personally, I didn't really feel very emotional on the day. It was kind of quite overwhelming. It was quite surreal to be there, so it was hard to kind of like stop and think about what where you actually were. It wasn't until I got home the next day that I started to feel like it really started to sink in what I'd seen and where I'd been. So actually walking through it was obviously a very monumental moment, but it wasn't as I didn't feel as impacted until the next day really. And what was the most memorable part of your journey? We, um, at the end of the day, we went, we went to Birkenau camp that's linked to Auschwitz and we had a memorial service. So we read poems and it got really dark and we had a rabbi with us and he told a story of his family. But he was so positive about it and I thought that the way he said that it's important to remember it was the most important, the most memorable part of the day for me. Yeah. And what made you want to create this permanent memorial? The um, the Holocaust has been like an area of interest to me for as long as I can remember, and I just thought that being there at the at Auschwitz Birkenau it really stuck in for me. Like what a incredible, like how incredible it was that that actually was able to happen. Like how someone was able to do that to other human beings. So I just felt that if one person can have that power once, then what's not going to happen again? So by having this memorial here, I would like for it to remind people that to remember the way they treat people and just think about like discrimination and also to remember the victims of it because I do feel like when whole families were wiped out then they haven't got anyone to remember them by so if we do it then we're kind of making sure they're never forgotten and the event isn't ever forgotten as well. Yeah of course. Thank you for talking to me.